the area where I grew up in it was well known for mining. And so I grew up running around in the hills and we literally didn't have any trees. It was a moonscape and I think in the early 70s NASA actually came to do some training for lunar landings. And I remember first coming out here and seeing the mountains for the first time and seeing the ocean. I just had this really incredible feeling. I knew it was a, a special place at that time and I've been here ever since. House Sound runs right along the Sea to Sky Highway. But the common sentiment when we take people out on the Sound is like, wow, I can't believe how beautiful it is out here. So many people are used to having the perspective of either being in their cars or on mountain bikes or being on the land looking to the ocean, but haven't had that experience of looking from the ocean back to the land. And it's, uh, it's absolutely amazing from the water. A lot of times what I do when I paddle in areas is actually think about what it was like prior to humans being there, prior to, maybe not humans, but prior to industry being there. And so I think a lot about from the First Nations perspective on what it was like, you know, three, four, five hundred years ago. And it must have just been absolutely spectacular. Just, just beautiful with the granite walls and, and, you know, at the head of this beautiful fjord is a volcano. So it's a very dynamic place. I think it's just one of those bodies of water that holds magic. When I first started paddleboarding about 10 years ago, I guess, I just thought it was uh, sort of like the perfect tool for connecting with our coastline, exploring our coastline. Generally, it's a slow moving experience. So you really have the time to look around. I think it's an amazing way to actually experience the environment. 